It's been hard years. In the regular year, we was uh, dominated by everybody, but in the playoffs, we never got success. Just uh, drive you crazy. That moment in the restaurant when they show highlights. It's real, Washington. The Capitals are champions. People was crying because they know how much we gave it to get that success. They was so happy and they knew how much we was winning that moment. That was something uh, I will never forget. Sleep well. We're missing you. Hi, I'm Alex Ovechkin. Alexander Ovechkin. <laughs> I have a dream, play an NHL, and my dreams come true. Simply sensational! The one-man highlight! <laughs> Tiger, where are you? I'm a hockey player, not TV star. 700 goals! Ovechkin wins it! This guy has been a godsend to Irby. We have a lot of flavorless, colorless characters, and then we got Obi. Welcome on board! Alexander Ovechkin arrived in the National Hockey League to enormous fanfare. One more time, he scores! Ovechkin! The kind of expectations that have buckled even some of the game's greatest players in their rookie seasons. Alexander Ovechkin, <laughs> that beaming smile, a pair of goals in his NHL baptism. But if anything, he exceeded them. Alex, when you were out there, what did that moment feel like? Um, I did it. <laughs> That's it. The great show up, and they're great right away. You could tell that Ovechkin was going to be great right away. Goes over the strike. Ovechkin knocks it down beautifully and scores! What a goal! You could tell right away, just dominant player. The way he skated, the way he shot the puck. He's dangerous. The hat trick completes a Washington overtime win. He would rise to the moment. You can see that right away with him, that there was no moment too big for Alexander Ovechkin. He scores! Ovechkin in overtime, and Washington wins it. This kid's going to be a star because he's not concerned about what other people think. He's just concerned about doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> Gretzky's Coyotes trailing by four with 8.15 to go in the third. Alexander Ovechkin curl and drag to the back end. He scores! Simply sensational! One of the things that always jumps out is maybe the greatest goal of his illustrious career was sliding on his back versus Phoenix. How many guys would even think to do that play, let alone be able to finish that play? Alexander Ovechkin, when it looked like it was no longer possible, <laughs> he still He's basically out of the play, uh, on the ice, plays over, basically it's a one-on-one, -on -one, and he still manages to find the back of the net with his back turned to the play. Even Wayne Gretzky, the great one, is going to see how this one went in. That was a really nice goal, and, and he knows that too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the goal of the year. We have a winner. I didn't have uh, an awards vote back then, but I remember people calling me and asking me if I did, what was I gonna do for the Calder Trophy? And the lobbying was intense. People who did have votes told me that at that time they got more calls and more pressure about what are you gonna do, Crosby Ovechkin, than maybe any other vote they ever had. And I think all of that combined to the fierce, fierce rivalry between them. And the Calder goes to Alexander Ovechkin. Ovechkin won the Calder Trophy as the NHL's Rookie of the Year, just ahead of the other young superstar with whom he would forever be paired and compared, Sidney Crosby. And a rivalry was born. Their rivalry would carry the NHL for the next decade. Doesn't get any better than this, Doc, and you got the rivalry, the stars with Ovechkin and Crosby. My first year was uh, kind of uh, pressure, me and Sidney. 
I think it was a great experience for me and for him uh, to be at the faces of NHL. It really worked out for the NHL. They were in the same division that there were two teams that were already rivals. There was already a history between Pittsburgh and Washington, and they legitimately disliked being asked about the other guy. Like, it was real. We got action here. Ovechkin and Crosby. They never really went out of their way to say it, unless, you know, they were kind of forced to. But you could always tell, you know, when you watch them play against each other, it was Canada, Russia. It was Pittsburgh, Washington. It was the number one pick one year versus the number one pick the other year. I remember as a fan those first number of years before I got into the league, it was great to watch. Two different style of players, but very dominant in their own ways. It certainly was great for the game. Sitting OV, they, when they came in the league, there was a lot, of, a lot of buzz, and I think they did a good job of uh, playing the way people thought they were going to play. Obviously, they're both, you know, looked at as the best players in the world. Now, I think there's a respect between the two of them, but they've both been great for the game. Who thinks is going to win the heart? You. Same question. <laughs> Who will win the heart? Sidney Crosby. The fact that he had a contemporary, another superstar to be compared to helped Alexander Ovechkin. Being able to sort of have that competitiveness, to have uh, that fierce rivalry has been a good thing to elevate their games. What immediately separated Ovechkin from Crosby and everyone else was that he was a big, vivid character on and off the ice. Ice, ice baby. Do -do 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 -do. Ice, ice baby. <laughs> He had that, you know, megawatt smile and personality, and he would throw caution to the wind when he spoke. So he was really refreshing. I sound like lots of in my head, like, I don't know how I'll play tomorrow. Guys, you're killing me. I take this all to my hot dog. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Alex is obviously a very outgoing personality, likes to have a lot of fun, I think, in anything he's doing. <laughs> the rule book is thrown away. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some flair for you. Ovi's a bit more of that exciting hockey player, outgoing and uh, a little bit more flashy, I guess you could say. He fires and scores! Hey, I can hear the booze. Let me hear a little bit more. And he's got a little celebration here. You know, I know for me, it was like I'd, I'd start taping my stick like him. I went yellow laces, and I think that's just like what you do as a kid when you know you're kind of idolizing different players. Victory! Over their history, the Capitals had enjoyed only a few moments when they were the toasts of Washington, D.C. But with Ovechkin's arrival, the game and the team exploded in popularity. By the time that Ovi got there, they were really kind of, you know, for lack of a better term, they were kind of blah. They were kind of just there. And he made them appointment viewing. They loved their team, and they loved Ovechkin. You see when they move downtown, and Alex Ovechkin shows up, and you see the love they have, and the amount of sweaters that people wear with the number eight on it. He's been an amazing ambassador for the sport in every country in the world. He's been an unbelievable Washington capital, and he's made a massive impact on hockey. Let's get full speed to the inside. He scores! Absolutely brilliant! This guy sells tickets. There are people who come just to watch Ovi. Fires and scores! He's larger than life in the zest he has, and the things he does during the game that make you sit on the edge of your seat, this guy sells tickets, and a lot of great players don't sell one. Ovechkin wins it and dances his way home for Washington. Today I have a keeper of city, and uh, <laughs> so everybody have fun and no speed limit. <laughs> 
Between 2008 and 2009, Ovechkin reached the peak of his powers. Both seasons, he led the NHL in goals and was named its most valuable player. Cross to Ovechkin, he scores! When we think of Ovi, obviously, uh, the goal-scoring machine that, that he is. 600 goals! Just the way he's been able to consistently do that. I mean, it's so tough to score in, in the league now. Ovechkin, his game is a lot about power and strength. Here comes Alex Ovechkin, one on two, fights through and shuts out, he scores! Oh, what a play! He comes down the wing and he fires that shot that's so heavy and then I think it surprised you a lot of times with how hard it is. Oh, he's pretty explosive. He's a pretty strong guy for, uh, for a skilled player. He can run through you or he can go around you and, uh, or he can shoot through you. Shoots and scores! For the guy who leads the league every year in goals, he's as physical as anybody. Look out! <laughs> And that's very, very rare to have somebody who can score goals and be that nasty. No matter how many individual awards Ovechkin won, no matter how many times the Capitals were the best team during the regular season, they inevitably hit a wall during the playoffs. Final score in the game, 6-2 to two. Penguins, they win game seven. It's been hard years. In the regular year, we was uh, dominate everybody. We was a uh, President Trophy winner. But uh, in the playoffs, we never get success. The sting of this one will not go away. A meeting in the second round with their bitter rivals. Well, we played Pittsburgh three times, right? Uh, and we always losing. It was just uh, the team who just can't pass the second round. The Capitals will go with a whimper here in Game 7. They are shut out. It is a different season. It is the same refrain. And the Capitals again with a season that ends in heartbreak. Yeah, we, we lost in the second round. So it sucks. That experience that... Um, angry and uh, that situation when everybody thought like uh, Washington Capitals are never going to win the cup, uh, it just uh, drives you crazy. Alexander Ovechkin seen what it took for Sidney Crosby to become a champion, taught him in some ways what I'm going to have to do, the sacrifices I'm going to have to make, the dedication I'm going to have. It probably held him to a higher standard and he's probably better for that. Every year you, you come back, you just want to improve yourself and you prove to everybody you're in a good position and you have a good team. In 2018, the Capitals finished first in the Metropolitan Division, again. It would be Ovechkin's 10th trip to the playoffs. The other nine had ended in disappointment and frustration. But this time, it would be different. 